Hello everybody. This morning I want to show you how to download the Neuro desktop editor to your Mac computer. Uh, connect it to your C4 synth pedal and start auditioning and burning user presets directly to the pedal. So this also works with uh, Windows based computers but for this video we're focusing on how to do it with a Mac. So you're going to need your, your Mac, preferably uh, one with the most recent operating system. You will also need a USB type A male to USB type B male cable. This is the same kind of cable that comes with most cameras. Uh, make sure you're not using a charger cable. Uh, of course, you'll need your C4 and a 9 volt negative tip power supply with at least 165 milliamps of output. And just so you know, you can do all of this while the pedal is in your rig. This way you can hear everything that's happening. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is create a Neuro account, and that can only be done with the Neuro mobile app. So depending on what type of phone you have, you need to go to either Google Play or the Apple App Store and search for Source Audio Neuro. It should pop up. It's a free app, so just hit the Install button. Once the Neuro app is installed, open it and select Sign Up down here at the bottom. Uh, the next screen will ask for your email. It will ask for you to create a username and a password. Once you've done that, hit sign up down here and your account has been created. The next thing we want to do is go to the Source Audio website. That's uh, sourceaudio.net. From there, we'll go to the top menu and hover over Neuro Presets and open Editors and Firmware. On the Editors and Firmware page, you want to open the Neuro Desktop Editor section of the accordion. So let's scroll down. We'll find the Windows and the Mac versions of the software. Select the Mac version. And I can see down here that it's downloading. OK, so I've downloaded the software. So I'll open my Finder and go to Downloads. And here it is in the Neuro Desktop Installer. Uh, I just need to double click that and it will open the install Neuro desktop window. Just click continue. All right, we've got some important info here. Click continue again. Yep, it takes 47.7 megabytes. Uh, okay, click install. So here I need to punch in my computer password and click install software. So the installation was successful. That's good. Let's click close. Uh, do I want to move my Neuro Desktop installer to the trash? I shouldn't be needing that again, so yes. Let's click move to trash. Done. All right, so now let's go to applications. Scroll down, and there should be a folder labeled Source Audio Neuro Desktop. Inside that folder, you will find the software next to this star logo. Just double click on Neuro Desktop and the software should open up. So let's log in. You'll find the login button over here on the right side of the interface in the presets section. Hit login and a box will pop up asking for my username and password. So I'll just punch in the info that I used when I created my account, then hit the login button. Okay, we're logged in. The first thing you need to do is connect your C4 synth to the computer. So you're going to take that USB cable, plug the small end into the USB port on the top of the pedal. Make sure your C4 is connected to a power supply. The USB connection will not power the pedal. Next, plug the other end into the USB on your computer. If you're using a newer Mac, you can also use a mini USB to USB-C cable. But I've just got an old school USB cable and the little USB-C to standard USB converter. I'll just plug that in here. Okay, the pedal is connected. And now if you look into the connections field in the top left, you'll see this blue box that says C4. The first thing I want to direct your attention to is this arrow icon. You can see that my arrow is framed in yellow. That means that my C4 needs a firmware update. So all I do is click that button. This box pops up telling me that I need to disable any software or device that might be trying to communicate with my C4 with MIDI data. That's done, so I'll click OK. 
Do I want to update my firmware? Yes, I do. Click yes. It only takes a few seconds for it to go through its process. When it's done, I click OK. Now I just need to unplug the C-Force power supply. Wait about 10 seconds and plug it back in and we are in business. You'll see that the yellow frame is no longer around the download button. Okay, now let me show you how to download user presets. If I click this wrench icon, the C4 synth sound editor will open in the middle area. This is where you can do all your fine tuning and sound creation in the C4. That, however, is for uh, a different video. In this video, I just want to show you how to download user presets. So if you look over here in the preset section of the interface, you'll see six different sounds that come with the C4 out of the box. You'll also see all these empty spaces. The empty spaces are where you can save up to 128 MIDI accessible presets. So there is a possibility to save a ton of sounds in your C4. But right now we're just focusing on the six presets available by just moving the toggle switch on the pedal. So just by clicking these presets, I can pull up any of the default sounds on the C4. Here is uh, EDM Swell, which is a great sound. And here is Pure Octaves. I like that one, but I think I want to put something different in that position. So let's go over to the cloud and check out some of the presets that other C4 owners have created for the pedal. You will need to be connected to Wi-Fi to access these sounds. So let's click the cloud icon, which gives us access to C4 user community. If I click the community tab right here, I will see all the user created presets. I only want presets for the C4, so I'm going to click this drop down and select C4 Synth, then hit Submit, and now I only see C4 presets. I can also get a little more specific with the search section down here, but I'm just going to check out some of the newer presets. To audition a preset, all I need to do is click on the preset listing, and it automatically makes the changes in the pedal. All right, here is one called Nasty Bass Synth. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Let's let's try this one. Throwback Thursday. Ooh, I like that one a lot. I think I need to burn that one to my pedal. So my simplest option is simply to hit the little burn icon. A window will pop up asking me where I want to save this preset. I'm going to override the pure octaves preset in the circle position. So I select that position, hit save, and it's done. If I go back to my device, you'll see Throwback Thursday here in the circle position. So from here, I can also make some additional edits so that the sound suits me perfectly. I think I want to turn down the overall output level. Um, I'm, also going, I'm also using a passive pickup, so I want to increase the input one gain. And just because I can, how about we try a different filter? Let's try a notch notch low pass. Yeah, that sounds good. So let's go over here and let's hit save and instantly that sound is saved to the circle position on my C4 toggle switch. So you'll see now I can just go directly to my pedal, select the circle position on the toggle switch and there it is. Okay, that's it for now. If you need any more help, go to our website, sourceaudio.net, or email us at contact at sourceaudio.net. Thanks for listening.